君を合わせてやるやるなら今だ戦術で一気に終わらせてやるやるなら今だ Yo what up peeps welcome back to another tutorial Today we are going to be doing a text animation. I already did a video. This is more like a text animation and subtitle type of text, I guess. I don't know. But this one is more like kind of advanced, but it is going to be pretty simple to follow along. So this is the clip that I'm going to work with. I'm actually going to put the, the subtitle right here. Let me play the video. Yeah, so when he starts talking and I'm also going to put a subtitle right here. By the way, my timeline might be looking kind of messy, but don't worry. First thing we're going to have to do is create a new video track. So control shift Q or you can just right click, then insert a video track. But I like to use the keyboard. That's the fastest way. Once you have created video track, go to media generators right here and scroll down at the bottom till you see legacy text and then drag the default one. Close it for now. We want the text to appear when he starts talking. So it's about here. So I'm gonna drag this and he stops talking right here. So I'm gonna right click and then trim and, and I actually forgot what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, this is the clip where he was talking. I dragged the, the sound. It's kind of confusing, but yeah, whatever. So he says, I will finish this with my new Jisoo. So let me drag this so I can copy it. So once you have entered your text, make sure to customize it because right now the way it is looking right now is kind of boring. I'm going to change the size to about 14 and I'm going to uncheck this. Now I'm going to change the font to something that I like. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty cool. Make sure to save your project by clicking Control S. Now I'm going to go to placement and I want the text to be at the bottom, like around right here. So I'm going to go to placement again, text placement where it says free form. I'll click on this bottom center. Now I'm going to go to properties and change the color. So for you, you can change the color to whatever you like, but I want the text color to match his hair color. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on this eye drop thing, click on his hair. Now you could see that the colors are matching. Now you could go to effects. If you want to add some shadow, you can, it is totally up to you, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Just play around with these settings right here till you get the results that you want, but I'm not going to add shadow right now. Once you're done, close it, play the video and see how it looks. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is add some fading, so just like this. And at the end, I'm gonna add some fading as well. I'm gonna pre render this real quick. You can click Shift B to pre render. Now, the way it is looking right now kind of looks okay, but we're gonna add some shake. So go to video effects, scroll down till you see as shake. And of course, you'll need Safari plugin to get this shake. I'm gonna drag the default one to the text. And I'm going to lower everything, okay. basically frequency and altitude. I'm probably going to change to like 200. Yeah, as of right now, the text is looking better and better. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to mask this and you want to come to the first keyframe. Make sure you have this locked and you want to stay on the, the mask layer, not the position. So click on this check mark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a rectangle. So just click on this and I'm going to drag. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to add some feather. Now I'm going to animate this. And at the end, I want the, the text to disappear as well. So create another keyframe, drag it to the end, create another frame. You could just click this one right here. And I'm going to move the this thing right here to the end and drag this. Save it. That's pretty much it. But if you want to add blur, you could. I'm probably going to add some blur. Just find blur. Drag the default one. Now, as of right now, it's way too much. The blur is too much. I'm probably going to change this to like 0.006. Yep. And click on this animate button. This is it for the first clip. And now let's work on the second one. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna create another text. This one we're gonna do with something a little different. Let's go to media generators again, legacy text, drag the default one. You wanna trim it. He starts talking from bow here. Click on this generated media, change the text. Now this is my chance. Change the size. I'm gonna change the, the font. And this time I am also going to change the color. I don't know if I like this color. I think I'm going to change it to white. Yep. Go to effect. I'm probably going to add some shadow. This time we're going to do something a little different. We're going to animate this right here. So go to properties and where it says tracking. Drag this tracking thing to all the way to the left side. So zero. Now animate it. And this part could be a little hard, but just follow along. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to create another keyframe. And for the last keyframe, probably going to do it like this. Let's see how this looks. Uh, in my opinion, the keyframe is kind of messed up. Like over here is kind of slow. So I'm going to drag this to like right here. I'm gonna do the fading again at the end as well. I am going to add some shake. That's the same thing as before, but this time we did a little different way. So drag the default, change all the settings, only the frequency and amplitude. Save. Now I'm gonna add some blur. Just drag it to the text layer. That is way too much. So I'm gonna change it to uh, 0 0.006 maybe. Animate it. Make this zero. Alright, let's see how the video looks. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, leave a like, comment below, subscribe. And if you need help, please join the Discord server, link below. We got about 1500 people over there. So if you have any question, you can ask. And I'm gonna see you guys later.